Now there's this guy. He and I do not get along. I like my steak medium. He likes his steak medium well. I like Dixieland jazz. He likes gypsy jazz. I like Call of Duty. He likes Halo. I like Pepsi and he likes Coke. I like the Republicans and he likes the Democrats. We couldn't be any more different. Now, we've been part of this club that takes 30% of whatever we earn and distributes it among the members and pays for club stuff. Now, he wants more money to be spent on club facilities while I want more money to be spent on outreach programs because I care. I care. Now, we are constantly fighting over this. It makes our club meetings extremely hostile. And parents, they can't take their kids to the club meetings anymore. And we've started to need security guards at the meetings. But one day, this is what he did. One day, he said, I'm out. I'll buy my own equipment. I'll get together with like-minded people and to get the economies of scale that we need and just uh, be away from fools like my neighbor, referring to me. And that's exactly what he did. It was difficult at first, but eventually it all worked out. And now, uh, me and my neighbor, while I wouldn't say that we're good friends, we have more of an understanding. Now let me ask you, how many people do you choose to have no relations with, no personal or financial relations with? These are people with whom you have preemptively chosen secession. Of course, you haven't technically seceded because you were never part of some club with them to begin with, but the state you are in is the same state as if you had seceded. You have no club relations with them. To form a union with these people at your personal level would be silly and stupid and lead to nothing but partisan bickering, wasted money, and horrible committee decisions. And that's why you don't do that. You don't even entertain the idea. It's so stupid. And yet, what is the United States? Well, it's that same stupid club writ large. And it has the same effects writ large. Because the United States is analogous to a special kind of club, a church club. See, it has an age of miracles, it has its sacred texts, it has its monuments, it has its loyalty oaths, it has its fathers. Okay? And if you leave the club, well, that would be to leave the sacred union, the sacred union, the holy union. If you were to leave it, you were to say, let's, I, I want to get out of this thing, well, you would be an apostate. And so on this large scale, we all stay in the club. Just know, at a more down-to-earth level, in your day-to-day -day real life, you've already seceded from countless people preemptively. Or more accurately, you never fell for any unionist bullshit from the beginning.